Hello, everybody. Welcome to the Natural Food Pantry Education Series. I'm here today with my guest, Shirley Jo Aiken, who is joining me for a conversation on the beautiful line of skincare products, Evan Healy. Shirley Jo has been a licensed practicing esthetician since 2005 after attending Pure Aesthetic Holistic Skin Care School in Arizona. Shirley draws on her background in cranial sacral therapy, reflexology, shiatsu, Ayurveda, lymphatic drainage, dry brushing, and marma facial rejuvenation when working with clients. Having experienced cystic acne for years, Shirley decided to take matters into her own hands and attend school where she learned about skin and what was making it so angry. Within a year, her acne was gone and Shirley began her journey of healing skin, our largest organ, which she describes as magnificently connected to everything else in the body and the world around us. Shirley enjoys helping people discover how simple skincare rituals can transform their skin and show how gentle natural products made with intention can be used to nourish, heal, and balance our skin. Warm welcome, Shirley Jo. I'm so excited to have you with us today for this conversation on Evan Healy products. Thank you, Natasha. It's so nice to be here. Thank you so much for having me. Oh, it's my pleasure. So let's start this conversation with a little bit of background around Evan Healy. I know um, Evan Healy products are, are, they're really exceptional holistic skincare line. And behind the line, there's a story, there's, there's a person, there's a woman. Can you introduce us to Evan Healy? Evan Healy, who is this woman? Tell us a little bit about her. Mm, yes, definitely. So Evan Healy is a holistic esthetician. Um, she is from California. She started this company back in the 80s, actually. It was a very slow process for her. Um, it wasn't until about 1999 that it really kind of took off. But she had a private practice for many years uh, in California. And uh, her father was a, uh, she, he actually owned a health food store and she worked in, in the health food store in the, you know, the, the body department, the skin and body department. And uh, from what I understand, you know, she really just kind of fell in love with skincare there. And that was back in the days when they really didn't have a whole lot um, on the shelves as far as really clean, uh, beautiful, effective skincare. Um, it wasn't how it is now you know, with, with lots of different options. Um, so she, she kind of latched on to Dr. Hauschka, which was sort of a pioneer in real holistic skincare, um, a really beautiful line. And, and at that time, uh, she kind of went headlong into that. She actually went to Germany um, and got certified with Dr. Hauschka and became a holistic esthetician, um, got certified to become a holistic esthetician. And that led her into uh, traveling and um, getting certified in Ayurveda and um, homeopathy and flower essences. And she really just started to kind of, you know, how the once you, the circle just keeps expanding and expanding as far as just what you want to learn. Once you learn something, then you want to learn something else. Um, so she just had a real thirst for knowledge and really want, and really just became very passionate about it. And then she came back to, um, settled uh, in Southern California and she started, she opened up a private practice. And at that time, a lot of the people who she were, she was seeing a lot of her clients were going through the sort of um, fad or trend where people were really using a lot of peels, harsh peels, like glycolic acids and things like that on the skin, believing that, you know, when you, when you do um, a harsh exfoliation, your skin, um, and this is true, actually, your skin does produce collagen and elastin every time the cells turn over, which is why when you're really quite young, your skin is really plump and, you know, smooth because the cellular turnover is taking place so rapidly. But then as you age, it slows down. So the idea was to just do lots of peels to get that collagen and elastin boost, but not really understanding that if you over peel, your skin then begins to degrade and thin. And, um, and then as your hy um, hydrolipid barrier becomes degraded, it becomes susceptible to all kinds of inflammation like um, eczema and, you know, or rosacea and other really inflammatory skin conditions. And, you know, our skin is our, our, there to protect us. It's our largest organ. And um, so people were really kind of coming to, coming to her. I mean, like, oh no, you know, my skin is 
uh, raw and irritated and it's just not how it used to be. And so she started really doing a lot of research for her clients. So this whole line was birthed out of wanting to help people restore their skin and bring their skin back into balance and correct skin damage, correct, um, you know, compromised skin barrier function. So it's all about building that up again through the power of plants. And so based on her holistic knowledge and understanding the way that the skin works, she started really, it was like hitting her like, wow, skin, skin is that we are not meant to, you know, degrade the skin. We need to nurture it and build it up so it can be strong and healthy and, you know, let it do, let it do its job. You know, that's what it wants to do is protect us. So there are natural exfoliation methods, but, you know, not take it too far. So she partnered um, with uh, David Gordon and they created this company and here we are today, you know, so it's, it's been a long ride, but um, still feeling, you know, still we're a fairly new company and, you know, in the grand scheme of things, but we're in a really sweet spot, I think. You what, know? what an amazing story. What, what an art. Like, I think a lot of us think of skin as that exterior surface, you know, mm -hmm. as a holistic nutritionist and people who have an understanding for holistic health, we see it as a reflection of what's going on inside internally. Um, and yet I think skin is an area that is often kind of minimized or, or negated. Um, it's, it's not something that is considered so complex. But I, what I'm hearing from her story is that skin can be very complex and there's, there's a lot um, to understand around how the skin functions and, and the health of the skin. And I just, I really appreciate her journey and all of the studying and education that she has brought to this, to this business. And it sounds like Evan Healy has some really exceptional core values. Can you talk a little bit about that? Absolutely. Yeah. She's really amazing. I feel like one thing about Evan Healy, I appreciate so much is she could have done things so differently. You know, she could have approached her business practice differently. Um, but being such a holistic minded person, she wanted to create a company that everything that it touched, everything that her company touched was in a safe and an inclusive and um, conscious way. So from, you know, from the packaging to, you know, we, we have all of our, all of our uh, products are in glass, you know, um, philosophy wise. Uh, I, I mean, it's, it's hard to even, you know, where to even begin. But I think one thing I'd like to just sort of talk about is one thing in the very beginning, which still holds true today is the philosophy around who you are is enough. And this was something that she really wanted to bring forward this message this um, to raise the consciousness for for women and for all people who use the products. Obviously, anyone can use these products from children um, all the way to our most elderly. Um, and it's it's all about, you know, finding finding the beauty and the imperfection and that we have this ongoing relationship with our skin. And we we come into the world with our skin and, and, and that's it. That's our relationship. And and like all relationships, we want to nurture that relationship, right? Like, like we have, this is our skin and we want to love our skin, like build a relationship with it. So sort of transforming the idea of, of our relationship with our skin, not that it's something to, to beat into submission and to, and to be angry at or fight with, but through all of its ups and downs and, and that the skin is a messenger, you know, and that it tells us things and that we can have a relationship with it and we can love it through all the ups and downs and that it's the skin we're in and we just need to just embrace that. So there's, you know, there's that, which I really love. And then of course we have lots of relationships with the stewards of the earth. And so as we, as she began to develop all of these different serums and products, it was always about sourcing and building relationships with uh, partners around the world and uplifting and elevating women's cooperatives um, and we can get into that a little bit later if you want to, but um, those relationships are so important because she was like, uh, you know, kind of of the mentality, like, I want to go back 
in t- I want to draw from ancient traditions. I want to draw from the past, the wisdom of the past, and these thousand-year-old traditions, 5,000-year-old traditions in some cases, and rely on that, but now incorporate it into a modern way where people can really utilize it and bring, bring that wisdom back to people. So that's another thing that I just absolutely love so much. Um, you know, so those are just a few things as far as philosophy and core value um, that really stand out to me with Evan Healy. How inspiring. It, it just blows my mind. I, I'm really inspired and I feel I feel enlivened and energized around around this whole product line and the, the core values of the company and this woman. That's amazing. Let's shift our conversation over a little bit to, to product now. Sure. Um, so I'd love to hear a little bit more about, about the product line. What makes Evan Healy products unique? As you said earlier, there are so many really wonderful <laughs> products on the market these days. We have lots of options. Um, so many options. <laughs> so many options. And yet I know that Evan Healy has its uniquenesses. So can you talk a little bit on that? Yeah. You know, I think when when we talk about the products themselves, one thing that makes Evan Healy stand out is so different is that um, when when Evan Healy was studying the skin, she, it sort of hit her, you know, in a really strong way that the skin is very complex as you were talking about before, but yet there's something very simple about it. It secretes sweat and it secretes oil. So sebaceous glands and oil glands, or sebo- sebaceous glands and sweat glands, right? And so it's like how to, how to give the skin back what it understands, what it can recognize quite easily and utilize in the same way that we would maybe want to eat whole plant ingredients, um, you know, fresh, organic, clean, simple, that, the, that you can eat an apple and there's so much power in that. There's so much sustainability in that, that your body can utilize the entire apple versus like something that's been highly processed, commercialized, built in a lab, You know, this whole thing, if we were to try to eat something like that, because our bodies are so amazing, we can, we can do things like that, but it's the apple, right? Like that's where the magic is. And so we're trying to get back to that. That's where, that's where she came up with this idea of oil and water rituals. And we have hydrosols and oil serums. And so hydrosols represent the sweat. And this is really like the sweat of the plant. Um, the same pH balance as the sweat. You'll never find a more beautiful hydrosol. We uh, partner with uh, family farms in Northeastern Washington through Columbia Columbia River Valley. And we have these beautiful family farms that, uh, you know, it's just a revival for family farms. And they make these gorgeous hydrosols for us. We have all of our herbs, um, plant allies that Um, have been used forever for the skin, kind of like the all-star plants for the skin. And she picked them out for all for the purpose of, you know, really wonderful health benefits. The hydrosols are uh, distilled in copper, hand hammered copper stills that have been imported from Portugal. And they're right on site. And the families will um, uh, harvest the fresh herb, whatever it may be. In this case, it's rose geranium and distill it right there on site and all for the purpose of hydrosol. So through the distillation process, essential oils will rise to the surface and she'll just skim, they'll skim them off. And what's left behind is a therapeutic plant water rich in antioxidants and minerals. So, and again, matching your pH balance. So it's like a big drink for your skin, Mm. quenching, it's hydrating. And then combine it with one of our nutrient dense plant oils the two of them together are highly recognizable to the skin and really transform the skin and bring it into total balance. And so there's many different combinations and like all plants, um, fruit bowls of plant, you know, going out into your garden and picking plants, um, you develop relationships with them and you know what they do for you. It's kind of the same with this. It's like, once you get to know these types of plants, um, maybe you're not familiar with rose geranium, but you can build a relationship with this plant and it it will speak to you and it will heal you in the same way that like, you know, your broccoli will. It's just different. It's just for the skin. What an intimate, intimate practice. I love the concept of ritual. I think rituals can be so powerful. They don't have to be long. They don't have to be, you know, anything extraordinary, but tiny little rituals during the day are such a, such a 
beautiful way of providing self-care to the body. Um, I know. Yeah, yeah. And on that note, I think you wanted to demonstrate a little <laughs> Evan Healy ritual. <laughs> yeah, I'd love to. Why not? So rituals are so important, like you said, and just those little rituals. Um, and trans turning a routine into a ritual. You know, I kind of like to think about it like that. All these little things that we do, why not just take one moment and breathe and just find them, be in that moment and connect to what you're doing. So what we'll, what we'll do with this is this would be just your, your first oil and water ritual that you would do right after cleansing. And then you can always put a moisturizer or a shea butter on top as an occlusive to lock and seal it in. Or maybe in the summertime, this would be enough. So um, on freshly cleansed skin, what you would want to do is take your hydrosol. This is rose geranium, which is an absolutely beautiful plant. Um, it's an adaptogenic herb, and it really helps to balance the skin. I'm going to take maybe about two pumps of your oil serum. And you're just going to make a little, oh, I'm sorry, I'm not showing you. <laughs> you're going to make a little emulsification here. And then simply take a nice breath and just exhale any tension you might have in your body. It smells so good. And then you simply just press. And the reason why we like to press and breathe is it just helps to calm the nervous system. And then you just bring it down and just kind of, you know, wrap it in. Now, if you need, you want to anchor the uh, oils in a little bit more, you're going to want to use more hydrosol. And it makes your skin so dewy and so fresh and it just absorbs right in. And it's a very centering, calming experience. Refreshing. I feel more calm and grounded just watching you. <laughs> I can imagine the aromas and so connecting nice. that sensation. Lovely. Yeah. And now you were saying that um, the practice of the oil and water would might be enough for summertime. What about during our harsher winter months? I think you mentioned applying maybe shea butter or the moisturizer on top of it. Is there one that you would recommend over the other? Does it depend on the individual? Well, some people really like a traditional moisturizer to utilize, to bring into their rituals. So sometimes people want to use our, you know, a day moisturizer to just do a little bit on top. Um, and then that's going to kind of seal and lock in that oil and water ritual for winter. It's wonderful because you really want to keep that um, hydrolipid barrier nice and plump and protected um, against the harsh winter and the dryness. Um, whipped shea butter is taking it to another level. Um, we have our, I'm sure you guys carry our whipped shea butter with olive leaf and calendula. You would just take a tiny dip into your, your jar and rub it together and then press it in over. You most certainly could just use the shea butter or the moisturizer with a hydrosol. The key component is always using a hydrosol, your water, with your lipid, whether it's a shea butter, a moisturizer, or an oil serum. Okay. Uh, because you really want this, it's like the yin and the yang, you know, you really want to have both to help your skin understand, you know, because that's how your skin receives and understands things is through oil and water. And does that help to prevent, I know a lot of people might be concerned that oil or even shea butter, because shea butter tends to be a bit heavier, might clog the pores. So would the, would the water hydrosol help to uh, alleviate that or ease that? 100%. That's a really okay. good, you know, that's a very good observation. Um, absolutely. The water, the hydrosol is really going to help to anchor the oils into the skin versus the oils just kind of sitting on the surface of the skin, feeling a little greasy, a little oily. Uh, not everyone likes that feeling. Um, a lot of times too, that the skin doesn't know how to process that many oils at the same time. The water element really helps to bring it into balance. Another thing to think about too, is when you're in a really humid climate, your skin is all plumped up and soft versus being in a very arid, dry desert. That's yeah. all the moisture, the water level. So yeah. you think this is, this is actually very important for the way that your skin feels and looks and functions. And a lot of times people think they have dry skin and they just have dehydrated skin or it might be a combination of both. So that's one thing to think about. Um, as far as oils and oily skin or blemish prone skin, 
Um, all of the oils that we use are non-commodogenic, which means they do not clog pores. We have um, very nutrient dense oils that are dry, like for instance, rosehip seed oil from our wild Chilean rosehip seed oil is uh, very dry. So it's considered a dry oil, it, it absorbs very easily. And um, a lot of them are rich in linoleic acid, which really helps actually to balance the skin and helps acne prone skin. So it's about which oil you choose. And we've already done that job for you. We've chosen all of the most incredible, healthy, beneficial oils for the skin and acne prone skin. Amazing. So can you touch on that a little bit? I know there's various treatment lines within the Evan Healy product. I have three behind me here. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. so, so could you just touch on the, the various treatment lines? Yeah, sure. Really quickly, the, the everything in pink, all of the pink boxes there, that's going to be your rose geranium uh, balancing line. And like I said before, rose geranium is a dermal adaptogen. This is wonderful for combination, dry and mature and oily all skin conditions because of the adaptogenic quality of rose geranium it really helps to balance out oil production in the skin. And it's just a superstar herb. I, I encourage everybody to learn about rose geranium. It's amazing. It has rose as well. So it's very uplifting, very heart centered, uh, great for everyone. The blue line is our calming line. That's really great for uh, sensitive skin conditions, uh, more your red, irritated, fiery skin, um, high pitta if you're if you're into yeah. ayurveda yeah so that's going to be with um featuring chamomile immortelle and lavender so it's very soothing very calming and then the purifying one um that one has lemon thyme as the hydrosol versus lavender which is in the calming kit in rose geranium so it has lemon thyme which is antiviral and antibacterial and it's just um, using our tea tree gel cleanser, which is also very wonderful for blemish prone skin, but super gentle and soothing and calming. Great. I've used it on my babies. It's so good. Um, so it's more geared towards blemish prone skin. So it's just, those are the three that we have like in the boxes and um, one is blue, one is pink and one is yellow. Sounds or very orange. Straight, straightforward. I know some skincare lines have so many uh, variations but I love that there's just the three and that mm -hmm. everyone everyone can find can find their their solution or their uh meet their needs through one of the three yeah one of the three and we do have a lot of specialty products that are in green boxes but I just kind of want to just say on touching on that there's no hard and fast rules with this it's just a guide they can easily be mixed you could get you can mix and match um really think of them truly as plants and knowing that how plants work together there's no rules with it it's just little guides um so you'll find your way your rhythm with it once you get to know the products and we're always here to help um we have a lot of resources and you know we're here to to navigate help people navigate their skincare journey so oh. wonderful so you really can't go wrong <laughs> no no and just one more quick question about application do you recommend that people perform the ritual in the morning when they wake up or before bed both times do you apply it before you put on makeup um yes i would do it in the morning before you apply your makeup um i would do it again at nighttime when you cleanse and yeah. form a nighttime ritual maybe different products maybe the same really it's up to you and then in the morning as well um, and then throughout the day, mist with hydrosol to reactivate and to refresh and revive and hydrate. Take drinks of water all the time, right? Yeah, During yeah. the day, you, your skin needs that as well. So, Lovely. Beautiful. And where can people find out a little bit more about Evan Healy products? We have several resources. Other than coming into the store. I mean, <laughs> they can certainly come in and, and speak with a nutrition advisor in the store. We do yeah. online in all of our six locations. Um, but in terms of resources online, social media. Yeah. So it's great. You have six locations in Ottawa. So people can go in and, you know, there's not just one spot. So that's awesome. Yeah. So we have um, evanhealy.com, a very, very comprehensive website with videos um, showing and depicting the, you know, film, footage from up in Washington from, and all over the world with our sourcing stories. So those are really beautiful in a way to kind of come into the experience. 
We also have a Facebook group called Evan Healy Sanctuary, and it's just a safe place for people to talk about skin and holistic estheticians that work for Evan Healy are there oftentimes to answer questions for people and support um, everyone through their journey. Um, and then we have Instagram, Evan Healy at Evan Healy. Uh, so those are just a few of our resources. We also offer uh, holistic skincare consultations, complimentary. You can book those through the website. So if you need help figuring out which products are best for you, or if you have skin conditions, skin issues that you wanna talk about, um, we do have uh, a few amazing holistic estheticians, including myself that can uh, talk to you about your skin. So we offer that support as well. That's wonderful. What, what a bonus. Um, you know, I think it's really helpful for people to, to get that extra assistance if they need a little bit of guidance. So that's, that's a beautiful um, addition to the, to, the whole, to the whole product line. Yeah, it is. It really is great. <laughs> and it's, so, it's such an honor to talk to people from all over the world, you know, in these consultations. It's so cool. Absolutely. Absolutely. Well, Shirley, Joe, thank you so much for joining me today. What a fun conversation. This has been so um, uplifting and inspiring. Mm -hmm. It's been a pleasure to have you with us. Thank you so much, Natasha. This is a really great interview. And I hope to come up to Ottawa sometime and uh, go to, you know, all your stores and just, you know, see what it's like up there. That would be lovely. Come Maybe not the in the winter. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> not not in the winter. <laughs> Awesome. Well, let well me thank know you if you'll so be in much. town. <laughs> I will, definitely. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you, everybody, for following our education series. I invite you to check out more videos on our YouTube page and subscribe to our newsletter at naturalfoodpantry.ca. Be sure to follow us on Facebook and Instagram. Stay healthy, everybody.